Alright, so we back at it again. Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's me, Dark Watch and today I'm going to show you how to get the definitive version of Sonic Heroes, aka the GOAT! Read the instructions that are placed in the Steam Unlocked website. You can either get Sonic Heroes from Steam Unlocked, but you have to make sure you don't get a WinRAR file, or you can download Sonic Heroes from the media file link that I got. What you also need to get is a mod loader for Sonic Heroes, which I'll all be linking in the description. By the way, if you download the mod loader in the Game Banana page, make sure to download all the requirements. Open the release file folder. From there, copy and paste all the data inside the release file folder in the Sonic Heroes folder. Join the Discord server if you want to hang out with me, or just hang out with my people. You can also get in my Discord server lots of Sonic content and also Dragon Ball content. So, if I were you, I would join. After downloading some mods for Sonic Heroes, which I linked in the video description and on my Discord server, create a mod folder inside the Sonic Heroes folder and paste the mods there. After you open the mod loader, go to the plus icon and select where Sonic Heroes is installed. Click on the Sonic Heroes icon. Also make sure that the mods are loaded in this order exactly. Because if it's not loaded in this way, the game will always crash. And also don't update the mod loader or the mods. From here I would recommend DS4 Windows, since if you want to configure the X inputs, which Sonic Heroes always uses for some reason, like, damn you! All you need to do is create a profile in DS4 Windows, name it whatever you like, and it's already selected as an X input. If you're done, then click on the essential X input controller hook and configure it. I recommend searching up an Xbox controller if you don't know the inputs for X input. Press on the graphics essential mod, then configure it. From there you can change the aspect ratio, like width and height to your monitor resolution. If you don't know that, then go search it up. And change around the settings how you like to. And press save if you're done. Last thing you do before launching the game is go manage your mods. Make sure that every mod has this red check by clicking on it. And if you're done, then you can launch the game. That's it with the video. Hopefully this tutorial helped. Make sure to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Also join my Discord server where you can hang out with me and all my members.